Hi everyone, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Those of you that are subscribers, if you're new, welcome. I am reading your questions that you send me here to serve your dating and relationship needs. And today's discussion is about the partner that breaks up with us and moves on with ease. Ease. As though it never happened. No big thing. So I have a question today that I'm going to read you. And this is from Lorna. Lorna, thanks a lot for writing me. Lorna writes, Hi Susan, could you please do a video on coping with a breakup where an ex has moved on with apparent ease? It's been six months. We were together almost three years. He moved in with me and ended it two months later. He hasn't contacted me at all, and I'm blocked on social media. I'm trying to let myself grieve, but I'm still in disbelief over his lack of care. Thanks for all you do, X. Wow. Lorna, that is cold. Okay? So, you know, the greater pain and confusion that we experience when we're in a relationship and one ends is when something is incongruous. This is incongruous. We could understand if you did something really bad. We can understand if you cheated on him and now you feel badly about it. We could understand if you guys had tons of problems and you were on and off and on and off. We don't understand, nor should you understand how I can be with you for three years. It's a great relationship. We finally move in together and then boom. Now, if I read this correctly, you have been suffering for six months, okay? And let me help you to give you an answer, because if you don't have a mental answer, oftentimes you cannot find your resolution. And if you can't find your resolution, you cannot find your peace of mind. And if you can't find your peace of mind, you cannot find the way to move forward. So, I, you guys, I cover this a little bit in, well, I covered the whole thing in breakup triage. But the number one thing you have to do when there's a breakup is you have to give the reason why. I didn't hear anything from you here. And you may not even understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it didn't work. He needs something else. He needs space. You're too good for him. He doesn't know if he can do it. He's not ready. Whatever he said, right? But the fact is that he moved on in such a cavalier manner so as to discredit you. And now you think, was I crazy thinking I had something with him and I didn't? If he can walk away that easily, it did not impact him. One, we may never know the extent to which this impacted your ex. It may be that your love your ability to love is so far greater than his. His could be transient, his could be superficial, or he could have loved you deeply and just shut down because the dealing with it and dealing with you and hurting you over again and seeing your hurt could be too painful for him. It's selfish, it's immature, um, it's cowardly, but that could be one of the reasons. All I know is that you have to give yourself a one or two sentence answer why this happened. You need to create the resolution yourself, put a cap on it. Even the hardest thing for us is to understand the incongruous. This kind of behavior does not fit a three-year relationship. It doesn't. So if you have done nothing wrong and you know it's all on him or there was a whatever was going on. Give yourself two sentences to start yourself off. We were having ongoing problems. He was reticent from day one. It just ended. And then find how this lack of communication fits into it. Was he always, you know, the kind of guy that wasn't communicative? So when you really wanted to know something, would he avoid the conversation? Then it's just his disposition. Okay, but we need to give ourselves a reason. So this is why giving ourselves a reason allows us to cap off that relationship and put it aside. Okay, also remember that there are some people, um, and more so men than women, are able to compartmentalize an event like this, close the door on it, and literally move on. It, it's astounding. 
It doesn't mean they didn't care. It means they have found an escape hatch from having to process it. It will come back later, as one therapist said to me so beautifully. She said, deal with it now or deal with it later, but you will deal with it. So these things come up for people at unexpected times later in their lives because you can only compress your emotions for so long. Lorna, it's not cool. It's not good. It's not right. You sometimes have to admit that you just don't know. You know, we, we don't know. Uh, you can suspect, make that your statement so that you can give yourself an ending and then allow that to be enough. I think you have attached his callous behavior to a personal diminishment of you. That callous behavior is on him. It's not on your character. It's his lack of ability to act like a responsible, ethical adult, to be sensitive and to be caring. It's his fear and cowardice. I know that doesn't seem to always help you in the middle of the night, but you got to keep going back to that. Also prepare statements that you can quickly say to yourself, phrases that are positive and self-loving that can bolster you throughout the day when you start asking why. Just go back to your two-sentence answer. It wasn't working out. He was always reticent about relationships. I think it just blew up and he never had a skill set to communicate, so it just makes sense. Okay, I hope that helps you. Lorna, thank you for writing me. And everyone, if you want me to work with you, Mm. The way to do it, go to the consultation page at susanwinter.net, individual, and we can do by the minute on Magnify. Also, I have some new things that are coming forward. I have a new one-hour special coaching session where I help you figure out your a la carte love design, which is my philosophy on evolving people. They need evolving relationships. So that's a new product and service I have for you. You guys, thank you so much. Write me, care of susanwinter.net, contact page below media. Please, please, please do not write media. We trash those letters, okay? Go straight down to video requests. Let me know what you want to hear and join me for our live show on Thursdays. Thanks, everyone.